Virtual reality is a way of giving you perspective on what you think is reality. It gives you a way of realizing, oh, a lot of this stuff is just my interpretation of it. There might be more there. That ability to just unleash culture, the ability to author culture, I find just uh, exciting. So VR is really just untapped, and we're not even going to guess where it's going to go because that's the whole point. We want to provide the tools to unleash this revolution of creative talent and ability and just basically launch a new medium. Having something that's easy to develop for, something that's easily shareable by people instead of relying on content made only by large companies, it's so important for it, it to be a human thing where you express yourself and have it part of your life. VR is seeing a resurgence right now because a number of technologies are all coming together. The rendering power, the display power, and the ability to track. But the final piece is really finding optics that can get us into those worlds. And when you bring those four things together, then it really creates a package that allows us to go other places that um, in this case, you can just fold up and stick in your pocket. We took a very different approach. We said, look, the lenses are going to be the key. The optics are going to be the thing that unlocks our ability to really experience what immersive 3D worlds are really meant to be. The Wiley Sky is certainly a breakthrough, without a question. You take defense industry, state-of-the-art optics, marry it up to a state-of-the-art smartphone, and I have an experience that they couldn't imagine 10 years ago with a full rig in a lab somewhere. They're designed around the way that I works. This was a no-compromise approach. The Wiley Sky is differentiated in three primary dimensions. The first is experience, and that's mostly 150 degrees of field of view. It's, it's just profound. Until you put one on and compare it to its nearest competitor, you won't appreciate this. But trust me, the experience is great. The next is portability. Ours you can take out of your pocket, and you can share it. The third, though, is accessibility. And that goes to the notion that you don't have to change the lenses, you don't have to modify the lenses, you don't have to adjust them based upon how wide your eyes are, how far out, uh, and also the price point. It will be under $100 retail price. This is a very accessible device. Making this available to anyone, anytime, anywhere, that we're not tethered to anything, uh, we don't have to worry about carrying a big case around with us. If your phone fits, this will fit. Having something that you can actually stick in your pocket is actually portable. That's gonna be huge for making virtual reality a thing, just being able to take it out of your pocket when you're talking to someone anywhere. So for a wide field of view, ideally, you would have a lens that isn't just right here, but actually surrounds your eye all the way. So you can do that by making a really large piece of glass, a really large optic. In this case, what they're doing is they're curving the Fresnel lens so it actually wraps around your face, which is a really interesting way to make it lightweight and yet still really subtend a large field of view. And the interesting thing about it is the current technology, the Fresnel lens technology, turned out to be much, much better than anybody expected. So the nearest competition to wear all these sky and headsets, it's like wearing a tunnel vision in front of you. It's about a 90, maybe 100 degrees field of view. Uh, the Wiley Sky, on the other hand, is almost your natural field of view. It's very wide, it's very natural, and it requires no modifications, no adjustments. Right out of the box, you're having the experience. That's what peripheral vision really does, is it brings context into the virtual world in an immersive way. And these lenses get us into the far periphery. They start breaking not only beyond 120 degree field of view, but into 140 and beyond. So it really starts getting you tingling because you can feel emotions as your peripheral vision comes into play. We have the great software. We're going to have access to the great content. Uh, these phones are getting better and better and better, but our optics will always be in the class by itself.